take it you're new to the nest. Our latest newsletter is looking. <laughs> There's this big lighthouse down by the Cape, and someone calling themselves the Merc of Junon has turned it into their hideout or something. Curie. Oh, are they an acquaintance of yours? Sorta. What are the chances? I don't know about you, but I think fate brought us together. Anyway, that place has got a killer view. We used to go up there all the time and just chill. But it's too dangerous with all the monsters around, and that merc hasn't done a thing about him. So I was hoping you could do me a solid and convince that merc to help us out. They've done many a good deed in Midgar and all throughout the Grasslands. Allegedly, that is. And like, if they're so good at doing good, then why aren't they doing anything now? The lighthouse is up ahead, right on the cape. Apparently, it used to guide ships back in the Republic days, but that was, like, forever ago. Anyway, it's super out of the way and crawling with monsters. Anyone who thinks customers will come calling is out of their mind. Yo, you're the best! You know, I just knew I could count on you. So, you gonna help, or... Me? You can sniff out trouble. I suppose that does make me the most suitable candidate. Oh, pro tip. If you ever get the chance, you ought to swing by the hill, too. You might even catch a glimpse of the Great Condor if you're lucky. If you're into that kind of stuff. certainly poured their energy into the promotional aspect. They'll be thrilled to hear it. Let's go. Junon, and you are. Oh man, I'm sure I got all excited thinking I had a customer. Well, thanks for making the trip out here to say hi, fellow Merc. Not your fellow anything. And quit calling yourself a Merc. You're giving the real ones a bad name. Uh, what even is a Merc? Nobody really knows. And besides, arguably this whole mess can be laid at your feet, mister. <sighs> I came all the way out to Junon to strike it rich, but nobody knows we're here. Or even that we exist. Zero publicity, which means zero clients. I mean, this is business 101. Ugh. Since you suck so bad at self-promotion, I had to pick up the slack and come up with an ad campaign. But, like... What's your brand? Tall, blonde, and not interested? Sounds like a one-way ticket to bankruptcy to me. <clears throat> Allergies. What? Shut up! This thing can talk? Indeed. Aww! Aren't you just the most adorable boy? Hey, you know, I've always wanted a pet of my own. Come here, come to mama! Okay, scratch that. Right. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm putting in all this work for us, yet we haven't managed to bring in a single customer. And if we don't get one really soon, your CEO and PR head is as good as done! But not to worry! 
I put my creative skills to work and came up with this ditty. Lining up in no time. Wait, monsters? Well, who could have drawn them here? I'm sure your aggressive advertising has nothing to do with it. Please, Cloud, you've got to help me. After all, nobody knows how to take down monsters like a Merc. So hire yourself. You're a pro, aren't you? Come on, don't be petty. Oh, I'll even give you some of these. Pass. Wait, our lives are in as much danger as hers now. We have to fight. Come on! Come on! Okay, 
need my help, do you? She's a cool merc and so very nice. Got some fight left in you.
take it from here. Yeah! You learned something. Oh well. I guess I'll just have to close up shop and clear out. Anyway, I'm gonna split, but I'm sure you can take it from here. Catch you later, fellow Mer. Hey. Wanna leave with Mama? Come on, you know you do. <sighs> okay, later. I wouldn't wish her on my worst enemy. You and me both. My dudes! I saw the monsters headed your way. I couldn't help but worry. Uh, it looks like I worried for nothing. I should have known Avalanche could hold their own. Out of curiosity, what happened to that Merc? She moved on. Bummer. Well, guess we should get this place cleaned up. Oh yeah! Rondo was telling me you do Merc work on the side, too. For real? I can't believe you didn't say anything! Best buds don't keep secrets, you know. But I hope you'll lend me a hand the next time I need help. Avalanche by day, traveling Mercs by night. I don't know how you dudes find the time to do it all.
care to join us, young lady? We've got a lovely breeze blowing today. You certainly do. So, what are you all looking at? We're on the lookout for the Great Condor. We try to catch sight of it every time it takes flight. Make sure it's in good health and all that. It's not really a danger to people, but its hunger can drive it to hunt larger prey. Let's just hope it never develops a taste for us. Surely you've seen our newsletter, haven't you? It's filled with fun facts about our beloved bird. I'm quite proud of it. Sir, I don't think the condor is going to show today. Maybe we should head back. No, let's wait a little longer, lad. That bird's got me a bit worried. Haven't seen it in a fair while now. I wonder if we should have given it something to eat after all. Perhaps. I put a post up on the notice board asking for help, but, uh... Well, if you're still looking for volunteers, we'd be more than happy to help. Well, far be it for me to turn down such an offer. It's a grand old bird. Makes its nest on a small island just a stone's throw from here. Even saved my life back when I was a lad, if you can believe it. The condor was looking out for me that day, so I thought I should start looking out for it, keep tabs on its well-being and whatnot. It's a proud creature, a hunter at heart. We've tried to feed it before, but it seems to prefer catching its own prey. If something smelled enticing enough, though, it might be moved to come and take a closer look, I suspect. Back during the war, I was running from some Shinra troopers when one of them got me in the back. I fell to the ground. I thought I was done for, until that bird snatched me up and flew me to the next town over. <laughs> I sometimes wonder if it mistook me for its supper. I never managed to regain the use of my legs, unfortunately. But I feel my spirit soar when I watch that condor fly. I may be stuck here, but at least they're still free. Thank you. I appreciate it. One of the condor's favorite hunting spots is in the woods nearby. You'll need a chocobo that can manage the climb to get there. It's pretty tough.
Chocobo could track him. in here. Let's go. Switch it up. All set. That's it. Beat them. Kill them. Come on. You're up. Let's do this.
What do we do now? Oh, you're back. Hope it wasn't too much trouble. You can put the food right over there. Thank you. This is quite the cut of meat. I have no doubt the bird will be unable to resist the call of such fine dining. Gotta say, it's kinda nice, looking up and seeing a blue sky. Beats a steel one, that's for sure. <laughs> Though at least with a steel sky you know your limits. Out here, it's endless. I kinda get what Aerith was saying now. Yeah, maybe. Hey, look! Hmm? <sighs> what a sight! I never dreamed I'd be able to see it up close like this. Ah. Oh. Wait, we have to get a photograph. Grab the camera. Yes, sir! Come on! Gather around, everyone! Quickly! Quickly! Say cheese! Oh. <laughs> what? So, snap any good shots? I hope so. It just showed up. I could barely hold my camera and... Really? Couldn't tell from a shot like this. Ah. <laughs> well, I haven't looked this happy since I was a lad. It's precious moments like these that make condor watching so exhilarating. You never know what to expect. Well, Scouts, let's finish writing up today's report and start preparing for our next fateful encounter. Sir! And hopefully next time we'll be able to snap a clear picture of that bird. Sir! Miss, I'd like you to have this as a souvenir. <laughs> nice face, Cloud. do. I really am nothing but a colossal failure. We haven't had a sighting like that in who knows how long, and it's all thanks to you. You know, I ought to get a nice frame for that photograph. thinking sending Sam back alone like that. He even need us in the first place. Your mother'd give Stamp a run for his money. <laughs> so, how's my son? Seem okay? Yeah. You're gonna stand there and pretend this wasn't all about Claire and her bun in the oven? <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from this stubborn ass tree. 
That's for damn sure. <laughs> Wouldn't know about that. And if you're done making wisecracks, I got work to do. You did a good job today, boy. Someone's getting extra pets. Brittle houses in the sea air. Pink. Hey there! Thank you for tracking down that spot. Quite the view you captured. You did me a good turn, so I did you one too. I convinced the association to make you a member. Of course, you're starting on the bottom rung, but you'll work your way up. And the more locations you find, the faster you'll climb that ladder. Isn't Priscilla just a dope oil? I guess there's some kind of inauguration. Do you need something delivered? you into a frog. Hey, Finn, who are they? Not Shinra, I hope. Oh, no, we're definitely not. Oh, wait. You must be the ones Priscilla was talking about. She told me how you saved her. Right, that's us. We're friends. Are you a friend of hers, too? We're friends, but it's not like I like her or anything. It's just there aren't a lot of other kids in the village, so I basically had to be your friend. Of course. So what are you kids doing all the way down here? Uh, playing Jump Frog, obviously. Actually, we could use a couple more players. Since you're here, do you want to give it a try? <laughs> Help us! Come on, Cloud. Ribbit? Tifa! I tried to warn you! Like I said, hanging out here turns you into a frog! like a frog, and you'll be fine! Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit.
that? So, ready to play? Come on, I love it, I promise. Ribbit? Ribbit. Okay, here are the rules. Think you two can handle it? used to it. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Ribbit, ribbit. <coughs> hey! Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> Talk to Yuffie. She said that you could show us a way to get up top. Sure, I'd be happy to. Although, Yuffie's the one who found it. And according to her, that tanker's the quickest and easiest way into the city. See that? That booth up there is the control room. So we can repurpose this ship as an elevator. Someone lowers and sends it back up, along with the others. Problem is, how are we supposed to get to the controls? High voltage? Yep, it should just say, no climbing. So we're stuck. Not with Mr. Dolphin. You wouldn't believe what he can do. Like, like when we met. See, I was out taking a swim all on my lonesome. 
At least I thought I was alone. But then, squeak, squeak, I hear this funny noise. That's great and all, but we're in a hurry. Hey! We're sorry, really. But we'll make sure to come back as soon as we're done. You can finish your story then. How does that sound? Okay, promise. <laughs> hmm? Never done it before? My arm, your arm, bam. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> awesome. All right then, now what? Now we ask Mr. Dolphin to get you up. With his help, it'll be a cinch. Okay, which one of you wants to go flying? Got you written all over it, Merc. Guess it's me. Great. Just let me know when you're ready to go.
Okay, your ride's right here. The ship's not far, so you'll be there in no time. If we don't sink on the way... Let's move. 